Hi, this is Debbie Martin with NOCE Creative Arts and Crafts, and we are doing journals today. So we are here with my friend Linda and Debbie and Becky. And so you've seen Becky this semester with doing some other things. I don't know what we were doing, but um, oh, t-shirt bags. T-shirt bags. And and also we did the scents like herbs and and yes. things you smell. Yeah. So, and then if you were with us last year, we, um, Becky and Linda and I did um, watercoloring on stationery, like postcards. We did um, watermelon and Basket flowers. flowers. Tulips. Tulips. Okay. So, what we're doing now is we're doing journaling. Well, not, we're not doing the journaling. We're making journals. So, anyway, so Linda is our guest speaker and she's going to show us how to turn this into this, okay? So lots of different things and how to make something that's plain into something that is gonna be beautiful. Right, Linda? I hope. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's do it. Okay, so um, what these are, the ones that I have, are all journals that have to do with travel. And so um, with not being able to travel right now, um, it's, it makes it a little more difficult, but we're just going to get journals ready for when we can take a trip. Yeah. So this is one. Um, here's one that's from summer from uh, 2012. It's, it was one of my first art journals I made. And they're made out of these um, books that you can buy. Um, I ordered some online or you could get them at, you know, Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Can you and get them at Walmart? You can... I, not Something exactly like the same size, but yes, you can get them at Walmart. Walmart. Yep. And um, basically what they are is they have art paper on the inside. They're spiral bound so that you can just fold it back. If you're uh, somebody who likes to draw, you can just draw in it. You can watercolor in it. You can use acrylic paint in it. Um, today, some of the things we're going to be doing is we're going to be layering some with paper and we're going to be doing some with paint just prepping them for future use. So, um, some again, some of the books that I've done, we did this one for summer, and this was when I was first still learning how to do it. And so this was my, um, the entire summer of 2012, I made bubbles on a page, just little circles, and I put in those circles different things that we did for the summer. So, um, look how know, organized like, she is. We went to a wedding oh, and we went to, oh, here's that Lewis and Clark Caverns oh. that we went to. That was really fun. Um, we went to Disneyland. That was fun. We went with grandkids. Um, let's see, camping in Idlewild. Um, I helped my daughter in law with her classroom. Um, but you could do this for a journal, not just traveling, absolutely, but, but like just journaling what you're thinking. Yes. Okay. In or fact, what? Or maybe we used to make gratitude journals around Thanksgiving. Oh. You could do a gratitude journal throughout the year. And with your grandkids. With yes. your grandkids. What a yes. great idea. Yes. So actually, we're I all had, grandmas here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I had extra pages in this particular one. So I did pages with my grandchildren. I put oh, their names fun. and I wrote something about each one of them uh -huh. and at that time I didn't have 12 now I have 12 so um, wow. I had less but um, anyway so that was really fun to write something about each one of them so you could do anything you want with this it can also be um, uh, can be positive thinking like if you are you know trying to improve your thinking or something you could do something on that because I know a lot of people struggle with depression and if they have something like gratitude journal or something like that it's a it's a good thing for them or um, one of them that I brought with me is it's scripture it's all um, Bible verses that I write down and things that that um, God helps bring to mind what what um, really helps me through the day so love it yeah so it can be anything you want um, this one one of my grandchildren was born so I did a little thing on the um, um, shower and so, I mean, you know, it can be anything. It's, um, so that was summer. I also did one um, last year. This is my last one that I did. And this one was on England, Scotland, and Wales. And it was just an amazing trip. 
And I've learned over the time that you can buy little printers and print little pictures yourself. So I do that. Sometimes I put in uh, postcards um, to remind me of certain places that we, we went. Um, and if I don't have enough room, I tape in an extra piece. Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Um, I like that. Particularly if it's something special, like, whoops, like this was uh, somewhere here. Yep, here. It was the first time I ever stayed in a five-star hotel mm -hmm. in London mm -hmm. with the, the guy who, um, he was the doorman and mm -hmm. he was in top hat and coat Fun. and tails. And yeah. It was amazing. But anyway tickets that you know places that we've gone i put in so it again it can be just about anything anything that you want and so that's what we're going to do okay we'll stick that in there um that's what we're going to do is we're just going to prep a journal ready um you know this past week i don't know when you're going to be showing this one but um in two weeks okay perfect um we just started into fall Yes. And even though... We've been making pumpkins for like four weeks. Perfect. So our journal that we're going to work on tonight is going to be a fall theme. So we're going to use papers and paints and stuff that are in, um, you know, we got oranges and browns and golds and rusts and greens. And, and um, if we're going to do papers, but you don't have to do papers, you could also do watercolor. And if you say, oh, I'm, I'm terrible at watercoloring. That's not the kind of watercolor I mean. The kind of watercolor I mean is you put water on the page and you drip dots of different colors. Okay, I'm gonna show them. See how this is sort of like, it is um, yellow, but it fades in and out. I think that's what you're yep, talking about. That's right. The background, see how this is dark green and then it goes into light green. See how she, she's doing that? So, pretty. so I can do that, Linda. I like see it. how that's like light blue and then dark blue. So, oh, and then look at how she made like a little edge. Okay. Adds a little color. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. And so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at each page and go, okay, what do I wanna do on this page? What kind of background do I want it to look like? Mm -hmm. So um, that's, how, that's how we're gonna go about it. So the papers that we have is the books that they're using have um, the background is either Bristol paper, which is very slick, or it's a watercolor paper or it's a mixed media paper. So it can be done with anything, so, okay? So these journals are, I think, like eight and a quarter by five, I think is what it is. So we're gonna be using a lot of paper that is a 12 by 12. And so we're just gonna cut a whole bunch of papers of things that we like, and then just pull out what we want. And even if you cut one and you go, uh, no, I don't think I want to use that color. No problem. We'll just set it aside and, you know, we'll use it for something sometime. Okay. So, okay. All right. I just noticed that our hostess, Becky, she put these little travel terms so we'd know which glass is ours. I have an airplane. Yes. Well, they're not all travel, but... So, like... I, I have a lighthouse. So we can pretend we go someplace during this pandemic time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to... Um, get i have two boxes of paper so i want you to go through and go oh i have to have this in mine or i have to have this in mine you just start pulling them out okay and then we're gonna um cut papers and glue okay. them on okay. i've got scissors i've got a paper cutter so we're so, cutting a lot of them eight and a half by five i think i think okay. that's i've got the ruler we'll double okay. check it deb okay. just grab me whatever are they over here no that's that's my oh, stuff no, the for papers later. are over there Oh my goodness. Yeah, I have two boxes. Okay, so while we're getting our paper and everything, I'm gonna tell you, you go ahead and keep cutting. Okay. And so I'm just gonna be yakking. So, um, so I have to tell you that we have all four of us known each other since seventh grade. Now, we just turned 65. Well, Becky is the young one. She turned 65 in November. But we all turned 65. And so, ele seventh grade, that was when we were 12? 13. Wait, 1967. So, I was 12. Yeah, okay. So, 12. So, that is 65 from, from a long time. 53 years. 53 years. We've known each other. So, we know each other's inside and out. We, if we say something, it's because we've known each other for 53 years. And we've had babies, 
We've had boyfriends before the babies, obviously. We had got married. Were we in all each other's weddings? Yes. Yeah, we're all in each other's weddings. So, you know what? We just know everything. And if you hear them calling me DJ, that's a high school name for me. And so, but you know me as Debbie. So that's, Here's a lot that's of why. Fall ones already that cut. Oh. Oh, that's cute. The pumpkin. Yeah, that is. There's a lot of yeah. I love this one. one. This is pretty. pretty. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Monday, and how do you have so much paper? I you know. just take extras. You just, you just, Some of it, truthfully, is back from yeah. Creative Arts Days. Some yeah. of it's from. Wow. Look at this. You know, all sorts of places. Okay, here. Yeah, I just oh, bought those. I thought you guys would like that. That is beautiful. One. Yeah. Okay. It's beautiful. Fall leaves. What's that? Okay. Here's a, here's, here's a uh, um, sunflower for. Becky, you want a sunflower? I think, yeah. There's, I, like I think that. there's two of those, and I oh. think there's two of another kind like of sunflower. I like this one. Here. You can have the sunflower, Becky. There you go. I like that. And how many of these papers do we need? Well, it depends. See, that we were just talking about that. Um, these books, here, let me see here. Oh, I pulled the thing off. Oh I think they one. have like oh, 35 huge. pages in them, uh -huh. but one, that would be both huge. sides. So that's 70. Isn't that pretty? That? I love mm -hmm. that one too. Yeah. We keep that um, one. But um, what we were talking about is it might be good to cover some of the pages, yes. but not cover all of them. Right. And do some with watercolor instead. Yeah. If you're using Bristol, let's play with the watercolor on there first to see what it looks like and make sure you like it. Because okay. if you don't, I do have water a couple watercolor books. Okay, I was I was talking to them with the journals. This is Bristol. Yes, the that's dull. Bristol. The, yeah, it's dull, but it's slick. Yes, dull this and is slick. watercolor. Feel the difference. Yes, oh my God, that's watercolor is nubby. Oh. Wait, mine mine's not nubby. That's because this one is Bristol. Okay, this one's watercolor. Okay, okay. All right. So here's one just to kind of get the idea. I went ahead and um, got one ready. How about mm -hmm. for the itinerary page? Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. Actually, for, that one would be good in a, for a cover, too, if you if decide we, you want If to we cover. ever go someplace together. Yes. So, okay, here's one I did just the other night. I just cut a bunch of papers and just sat, watched TV, and glued them all in. Just so I could kind of have a feel for it, to see what it was going to look like. So, you kind of get the feel. It's kind of a, a fall, you know, theme. Linda, do you know what I sit in when, I, when I'm watching TV? What? I'm laying there on my pillow like this, on <laughs> my blanket like this. I have to do something. That's that's just that's just me. DJ but, can sleep when she's on when she's watching a movie. Okay. The rest of us oh, are I can too sometimes. the rest of us are, are multitasking. Oh. But anyway, so you just you know again you just want to pick out things. Oh, what I started to say is then you cut smaller papers. Like if I'm gonna okay like this. Yeah, say I'm gonna write something on one and I think oh man yeah. you know I shouldn't have covered it with that busy of a paper yeah. right because they're both kind of busy right. but if i want to write in it put that on top. that's right you ah. put it on top and you can put it on top like this and put a i have fancy tapes they're called washi tapes right and i brought ah. some with me you can tape it and then you can open it making an extra page like you did those, like, those tickets exactly. and that post -like. so you can put yeah. pictures on this it you can you can do all kinds of stuff like so that. that's what we're okay, gonna do tonight is we're okay. gonna play. Yeah. And nothing okay. is um, is like super special. You know what I mean? You don't like it, we can glue another one over the top. Okay. Okay. We okay. are our friendship is the only special thing here. Yes. There we go. I like this one too. And it's okay I'm pulling these out. Linda. Whatever you want, just feel free. Okay, so you might remember that for the like the last five years. Every fall we make a gratitude journal, but they look like nothing like this, people. So, <laughs> anyway. Okay, so you have one well, that's I'm trying to see. Ready. This yeah. is a little, see if that fits. It's a is little, too some big of them are a little bit too long. Too big. Okay. Just a so hair. again, I was cutting those late at night, so. <laughs> okay. Um, Just a hair. So what, what we can do is if they are too big, yeah. my suggestion is you line it up to the, go ahead and glue it, line it up to the bottom. And then cut it? And then you, you can turn your page like this and trim it off. Oh. Or you can try to cut it ahead of time. It's up to you. And again, it's not, again, nothing is, what do you call it, sacred? But if we... Sacred? Yes, that's the idea. 
Um, Nothing is uh, set in stone. But you would cut everything with no, the paper cutter, and you want Becky, is this a good tablecloth? No. A okay. tracing thing. It's it's all up to you how how particular you want to be. You can cut it with a paper cutter, you can cut it with scissors. Okay, I, I just okay. put my, I put this down like this, and then I traced around it. So now I know where to ah. cut. Wait, what'd you do? I put mine down like this on the back side, and then I traced around it so I know where to cut because some of these are a tiny bit too big. Okay. Now, one of the things, since we're doing a fall one, yes. okay, I don't want to overwhelm you, but I want you to start thinking what you can add to it to make it fallish. Like you know, like you may be going through your. Um, getting out your fall decorations yeah. and find a card somebody sent to you last year that it, it has a beautiful fall something on it. Cut it out and stick it in your book. Oh, that'd you know, because be, yeah, then it just little gives fall you more. pictures. Yeah, yeah. So you can get fall stickers. It could be and fall anything. Who wants the paper cut? Um, intimidation. What do we glue this on with, Linda? Okay, so if you're going to glue on the cover, yeah, I'm gonna get, get that. I'm gonna get a pencil. How did you cut? Did you? Do we need more pencils to use that? Yeah, I, okay. that's one if thing you I did not. Pencil, that'd be awesome. I have pins in my purse there, Becky. If you're gonna glue on the cover, this glue is called PVA glue. Uh huh. And it's just like a really good El Elmer's glue, basically. Mm -hmm. That works really good for gluing on the cover. But everything else, I brought you guys a ton of glue sticks. Okay. Oh, because, yeah. Because okay. yeah, you just glue paper down with the glue sticks, and. What you do is you you glue it in place, press it down really good, the edges, everything, and then you go back the next day, and if there's an edge that's coming up, then you just glue those edges down. Okay. So. Okay? So, and you may feel like you need to spread out however you want to do it. Becky, do you want the paper cutter? I don't know what to, I don't know how to cut it. I don't know what's the okay. measurement. Take a paper. Oh yeah, let's see if there's one that fits. I mean, is one of these perfect? Like probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything perfect. Pretty close, Linda. No, I really don't. I just, just I love it, Linda. I hear ya. I, I hear ya. Yeah. And you know what? I'm too old to do perfect. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm at the point in my life I can let it go. Okay. And then I also these are the washi tapes I brought. Just. See so some of them have pumpkins and oh my goodness. DJ, are you putting really something on your front? Yes. Is that I what am. you're? Mm-hmm. So like maybe this for the front? That'd be really cute. On I think front? it'd be beautiful. That I'd do be that for really the front cute. and the back. And the back. I, agree. I think that there's more than gorgeous. one of these here. I know. Yeah. I want, yeah. I want if, if it were me, that's I think that would be beautiful. Speaking about looking perfect, Linda. I had a stove guy at my house right before um, I came here, and the stove guy, he was putting insulation on the side and stuff in the stove oh, yeah. so it's not so hot. He puts the insulation down. Oh no, he had the side of the stove off. He oh, took sorry. his scissors and he went. Oh. And then he took his scissors and he went. Oh. And then he cut. And I said, I love it because that's your measurement. Sure. Your scissors is your measurement. Well, just like, you know, we, um, before so many times have done that nose yeah. thing to figure out how long yeah. the yardage is. And for everybody, it's a little bit different. That's a yard. Yeah, my the, yard is I have to hold it and then turn my nose. Yeah. This is thirty. This is thirty six inches. Sense. That's the way mine is. Yeah, like to turn see if that, yeah. That My mom's it? was always. She could do it. Her Pretty arm good. was longer. So oh. she could do it straight on and it's not straight exactly out. Right. But also, since we're so talking about measurements, did you know a dollar bill is six inches yeah. long? Okay. Yeah. So if so you I ever need measurements and you're short, someplace we don't have measurements, take a dollar okay. bill out so if you have a dollar bill. There you go. It's six inches long. Yeah. Yeah. DJ taught me that a long time ago. I love that. I have people. That's so. I have people ask me, "What am I doing with that dollar bill?" As I'm walking through Home Depot trying to measure something. But right. nowadays, at least, sometimes I don't have a dollar bill. I just have like a debit card. Oh. I know, sometimes I don't have a dollar bill. Well, that's a problem. I know. <laughs> okay, okay, so also some of them, if you are not, it depends on how picky you are on things. This um, was torn with a ruler. I learned this ah. from. But that makes it more rustic looking. Yes, exactly, ah. and then you just rub it with some ink. And that's what, how it makes it like that. 
Let me see. So it makes it kind of that less is sticky. cool. Oh, I like that. That Linda. is cool. And then did you put some um, some brown watercolor here? It was ink. Oh, it's ink. still the look at um, how ink from an ink. Can you see pad. how it's sort of like brown, like br like a burned, like yeah, burnished or something. So if you decide that's you want to do, um, I like that. You know, if you are going to do writing papers on top, that's another way you can do that. That's is, cool. You know, tear them. Tear them so. with the ruler. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, so I just want like a little hair taken off this paper so I can use this for a template. How much of a hair? Like a, like maybe an eighth of an inch or a quarter. Okay. okay. I don't think it's going to be too much. Um, let me have your your book for just a minute. Is that, it's for like it's the, for the cover, cover side? Okay. But so you're not, not going to piece. I was just going to use that piece as a template. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Okay, got so it. look. Okay, so let's do it this way. So you're cutting them without the paper cutter? Yeah, I did. Doesn't that make them sort of nervous? <laughs> nah. Hey, you guys, if you nah. look real close at the sample one I did the other night, Don't I used look this, close. I used yeah, this um, like kind of natural paper, mm -hmm. and I thought I had plenty. No, and look, I didn't make it right down here. So it's okay. I'm going to use some kind of tape or something Don't over look. it. Yeah. No, it'll be fine. So you use tacky glue on the, for the cover? You, yeah, you use some kind of heavy, heavier glue okay. for the cover. And I think... Oh, Becky. If they only had... El oh, now it's coming out. If they only yes. had Elmer's glue, would yeah. that work? It is a long time to... Yes, it would does work. it make it wrinkly? It might wrinkle a little bit. You just have to press more. Okay. But, um... Okay, right. all of a sudden I'll... We can get it. Lopped out. If I mess this one up, then we'll just do another one. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Try that, Becky. Whoops. Okay. Now. Oh, that's so pretty. This isn't going to be my cover. But this is just my I template. I like it. Is it the right size? Yeah. It's a little long still. Still. Just a bear. Bear long. Bear, bear. Okay. We'll yeah. try to fix that. Because is it better to have it a little too short? A little too long. Uh, a little if, too long. Oh, it is? <laughs> yeah. Oh, then maybe leave it. Okay, because the reason why you'd want it a little too long is there's so many neat things you can do with paper. I never realized. You can use a, a, a sanding block or a, or a fine emery board and do this uh -huh. and it'll rub the edge off. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Okay, so make so it look rustic. Now yeah. I'm going to use this to put it on my paper like this. Yeah, you can trace it like and that. And I'm going to trace it and yep. then cut it with the paper cutter or cut it with scissors. Whichever you want. Okay. And just make sure that your states are going the direction you want it to be. It's Ooh. Not sideways. Oh, no, that's good. Okay, good. Okay. It's kind of fun. Okay. It is fun. Yeah, and again, you can't hurt it. I okay. like it. Good. Some of the papers that I cut, I don't know if you can see it, some of them are have some kind of a line pattern in them. Yeah. And I made sure to cut them this way so that just in case I wanted to write, I could write without, because my natural thing is to go up and down and <laughs> all over the place when I write. I so. like it. Anyway. Okay. <gasps> so fun. Oh, I like that on there. I did too. Oh, that's so yeah. cute. It's I get really pretty. Travel. Gonna We're going to be twins. I know. We had to fit. Okay. Okay, so we have lots of things to make them, lots of ways to make it look a little different. So you guys want to get a next step if you ever decide okay. to do something We're gonna together. Do Even though this is not travel, that's very cute. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's that. very pretty. I, think yeah. I did that one in here somewhere. I like that one. I think that was cute. Oh, that is cute. Okay, so now, Linda, I'm well, now coming to you. Yes. You want me to come over there for the nope. paper? Okay. Here you go. Okay. This is an interesting paper cutter. I have. I'm not sure um, I know how to work it. I have a couple of them. My very best one, Melissa has. I forgot. She uh, I had. I had one. What do you line it up? I have like two or three. Um, the, there's a plastic ridge, and then you get here. That came up. Do you guys have on leaves? Sides. Yeah. Do you have the leaves over there? Which leaves you want? The big the leaves. leaves. Yeah. The big ones. Yeah. Let me see, or do you have little leaves? And there's, um, okay, so it says thankful. There's this ridge here. Little leaves, leaves. and I have pumpkins. Um, pumpkins. Um, and look at it. Oh, this is, this no, is this 
so that you can get this what line pumpkins do you have? lined up here. Um, so oh, that's the oh, thing. Okay. Can you, that's right cute. there. Okay, that's I see. Cute. Look at that. Yeah, right where that. So you line the edges. Okay. Yeah. I and think you guys are pushing it out there. We've done. Debbie, we've done. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, yeah. the paper this pumpkins. Down. And then that wire I've should be right on top. I've never showed you. Right no, I'll show you. Okay. okay. Okay, and then pumpkins okay. out of sweaters. And then you just pumpkins out of lunch yep. bags. Yeah. You slide up, slide Succulent back. Succulent pumpkins. Cute. Just push it down and, a little bit um, to do it. Yeah. So, in fact, the second yeah. pumpkins that we did last week, Debbie's oh. daughter got married in the fall. How many years ago, Deb? Okay, five years. Five years. And how many, okay, her friend grew all these Cinderella, Cinderella pumpkins. Okay. And then how many pump, succulent pumpkins did we make for the wedding? We had about 50 succulent pumpkins and about 50 pumpkins for decor. Yes, so 50 succulent pumpkins. Yeah, well, I made one. Well, actually, I made two last for last week's video. Okay. So anyway, yes, that was a very, very fun and pretty wedding. Thank you. It was, it was gorgeous in in, um, in Oakland. Yeah, I kept a succulent that succulent pumpkin forever. Ever, forever. And my friends helped put up lights. If we didn't have them, no one could <laughs> see at night. It was awesome. This would yeah. be a good one for the fall. That would be because you can oh you can have ride it. on it yeah and you but at the same time you can still have the fall leaves oh, on one side so. yeah okay I have that lots for one to choose side. from is there a front or back or not nope doesn't okay. matter all right I just I love this but I don't know if I want to put that on the this or on the inside Linda is this wasted this size no because no, you can use oh, them okay. for different things yeah and okay I can, I don't but these are wasted. One. Not really. No, you can put okay. them across like a band yeah. across yeah. the top. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So you keep everything. Uh, yes, because there's also something called, I know I'm kind of overwhelming you guys, but there's something it's called okay. a, a belly band, which I don't like the name. But anyway, um, you what you do is you cut a piece that is a long strip like that, mm -hmm. and you glue it um, here at the top and at the bottom. And you can slide a piece of paper in underneath well, yeah. it. Well, uh -huh. okay? yeah. So it holds it in place. Right. Or you can make it into a pocket. Okay. So and you would do that by gluing, you know, on three sides and leaving it open. Okay. So. All right. I think I'm going to do this. Oh, I love that one. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Too long? Um, it's a little, I think I can fix it though. It's a little um, not wide enough, but I think. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can. If it's not wide enough, I would tend to put it out to the edge. Yeah. And, yeah. and then, then and that. this side we can, we can play with. Yeah. We can do something That's else. what I think so too. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? This I want to write. Just this <gasps> was to paper. I know. No this was paper that was from um, my dad's. My dad used to keep um, journals of like finances and stuff. Oh, Linda, you have to keep them. Oh no, I've got tons of it. Oh, <laughs> so, that is so special. That's your dad. So, I know, but I've got. A I can lot see of him it. right now in my in my brain. You know? So he used yeah. to keep track of you know finances, like if he had a. He had a personal loan with somebody they were paying him and so he kept one book that, right you know that kind of thing okay so linda that's not totally on there straight but is it good enough that's what i'm asking yes it's a little over that's fine okay so it won't be okay not a problem just rub 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 okay actually um, this paper is lighter, but the heavier, like if you do any of the heavier paper, it works really well. You can use a credit card to oh, do this, yeah. but you just have to be careful that you don't um, do it too hard. You need a little glue on that. Paper. Okay. So, awesome. And again, any of them that they're too big, I was telling them you could just take scissors. And trim. Yeah, do a trim. This was... Yeah, because that's why that lifted up. That was too... That's yeah. too big, too long. Yeah, and that's it's fine. Just glue it, and we'll we'll trim it trim later. It. That's what I did with this. This is just some old um, music paper. Oh. I got it at a, a yard sale like oh. you know, five years ago or something, 
and um, I kept it because I just thought it was so cool. I got it for like a quarter or something. That is cool. But um, anyway, so I did that with this. It was too big and it trimmed it. it. This is sort of like when people who sew a lot, they keep all their little scraps of yes. fabric and then yes. they're going, okay, well, I have a little scrap. I'm going to put what a little, gonna do with that? little pocket over yeah. here. I'm going to put a little belly band over here. Yep. It's that same idea. Okay, so that's gonna be my I'm gonna try this. my band. So you use the tacky glue on the covers, but use glue stick after that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Linda, I'm gonna use your dad's paper. Go I, right I ahead. Your dad. He was and again, I've got tons of it, so not a worry. Are you so guys too warm? I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Because I turned off the air just before yeah, you came because it was I feel really a nice little. We had goosebumps. We were cold. Okay, there's that for somebody. And that. I like it. I like it. Okay. Are you feeling artsy? I am. I'm even trimming. So, Linda, did you already make your journal? I just made a quick sample on this one. Uh huh. Um, so, yours is done. I could, yeah, I could use this one. This would be fine. Okay. But see, I know, like this one, I love this paper, but I didn't have enough of it to fit. So yeah. I tore a piece of music and put it on there. How oh. perfect. So, and since it already had this kind of tear design, it looked like it was supposed to be that way. I thought it was. No, right. You could feel it. That's great. Put the music on there. Yeah, but you can do that with anything. So mm -hmm. if you go, oh man, I really like this one, but it's way too small. Right. You can glue it on as half of it and glue mm -hmm. something else on the other half or, you know, it doesn't matter. Linda, how many glue sticks do you have? I bought, um... Did you get them at back at school time? No, I got them on Amazon. <laughs> but I bought like 20 mm. because I knew we would be using up quite a few. So mm -hmm. I just thought it'd be better. See, I used that paper. That one. Oh, like. yeah. Now, how are you... Um, Linda used to be an arts and crafts teacher. How are you making And it? so I have to well, tell you I that a lot of times, a thing and I think I just got rid of it. I think she this, would move on to the, another class, and then I would take Does over. That work? Perfect. And then, well, yeah. I literally yeah. would have people calling me Linda really good. for years. So do you do both? Sides, Is that one too I short? Well, well I, I show me what you're doing. Oh no! Oh no! I thought I cut it right. So what I wanted was a blank page. Okay, I'll fix it because I want a blank page. I'm doing so your now. first page is a blank page? No, this is blank. So I'm going to write the, everything around right the itinerary? Yeah, on here. Okay. I'm going to get some stamps to put on here of okay. things. Or okay, so I did get, um, I brought them. I thought this, you know, we might want to use yeah, one. I might try watercolor, and then I'm going to do, I'm going to do every did other one. I one? did get some, oh, uh, I'm trying to make mine not exactly like yours. Stickers. stickers. Uh, I know, uh, I know I did. the stickers, but I like them. There's like some pumpkins oh, and cute. squash and oh, some sunflowers. My goodness, sunflowers. Linda, how much do we owe you for all this, Linda? No, 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 no. Oh, no, and, no, no, no. Um, anyway, so I just thought that might be kind of fun. So cute. Yeah, to um, you know, put here and there. So that's what I do. I, I keep a little personal journal uh -huh. all the time. And um, in fact, I wish I would have brought oh. it, Becky, because my little personal journal, I do it. It's supposed to be daily, but this last month has gotten kind of crazy. Yeah, so, homeschooling, homeschooling yeah. grandma. Um, anyway, so um, it is, um, um, anyway, I, I've got some days where I, all I've done is like taken a picture and stuck it there. <laughs> but I have one picture of Becky and her grandsons. Aww. Did I send it to you? In yes. Your yeah, oh, okay. I printed it. You yeah, printed, I printed two copies, one for you, but now I can't find it. No, on my little pocket printer. Oh, is that what that is? Yep. Oh, fun. I think I'm yep. Let me get it and I'll show you. Look at that. Wow. So this yeah. is where these pictures this is yes. come from. Okay. This looks a little mm -hmm. So, like there. Okay, so these little tiny pictures. So cute, Linda. And so this hooks up to your phone. Yeah, it's it's Bluetooth. 
Uh -huh. So you take the picture with your phone, uh -huh. and then you um, um, then you um, turn the little printer on, and inside the little printer, mm -hmm. you just put these little packs of paper, and there's ten of them in a pack. Mm -hmm. And um, the Hewlett Packard. Yeah, and you just turn it on. It's called a sprocket. You just turn it on. And you pick what picture, all that will come up on your, your phone. It'll say Sprocket Gallery. Uh -huh. And you pick out which picture you want and you can alter it. Like I did one here. Um, so we can take our wrinkles out? Eh, not that good at altering. <laughs> oh, sorry. Aww. We can make us look like we're in high school again together. I would love that. But things like um, I just took a picture of my grandson his, his eighth birthday party last oh, Friday. Oh, cute. And um, I was able to put on a little hat on top oh, of them from inside the on my phone on the printer you edited it's it. not my phone yes uh -huh. and put happy birthday luke on the bottom mm. and then it's a peel and stick sticker oh perfect Just peel and stick and stick yeah. it in wherever you're going to use it so i love it it's really fun that is so that is okay and uh, let me show them your your let me show the people Okay, this little thing, yeah. and also where's that picture that you had? Oh, of... right in here. There's one of, of Luke. Yeah. yeah. Okay, very cute. I'll show them. Okay, so I'm coming over here. So here's the picture that she did, and she added that little um, birthday hat on him, and then she added happy birthday Luke right there. So that's sort of fun, and this is what she's talking about. This little gadget right in here called a sprocket. So, looks pretty techy to me, Linda. It's not. It's so easy because I am not techy, and I can do it. Okay. Oops, mm -hmm. let me put Luke back in there. I play I think a lot. I like it. So, but Linda, see, can I do I a couple a watercolor on top of this. things? Yeah, because can. I think that yes. Um, yes, yes. we're, so we're not going to video to the bitter end. No, a, you can do that. You can do this. Okay, so if you want a watercolor, uh -huh. um, well, yeah. just yeah, grab this a plate. Because this is, that, cause yeah. this is oh, the I love that one, Debbie. Ooh, pretty. I like it. Here's the watercolor brushes. Okay. It's kind of a... Did you use glue stuff now? Wide mass here. little pieces? Yeah, I did. Okay. We'll lend a lot. lot. I know. Um, Look at this. I know. Liquid watercolor, so you could just dab it out. Luann and Christine okay. would be so proud. The colors that you want. Okay. Let me go get you some water. You in a watercolor, DJ? I am. On <gasps> some of the pages. Yeah, I want to do it on some of them too. Me too. How many pages have you done paper on? Um, two. Wait. Well, three. And what I would do is I would cut some pages of what you like, or take them, just take them with you and cut them at home, uh -huh. so that you can, you know, have as many as you need. Because we won't be able to fill up this whole thing no. tonight. No, no, not tonight. It's too okay. much. All right. So I'm gonna do like a what's this called? Mm. Yellow ochre. There you go. I don't know if the dark one to the, which is the dark. Hey, I want to watch you. Can I tell you what it really is? Like Looks baby. like baby poop. That's it. It's a baby poop color. That's what it That's is. It's perfect for fall. You okay. Want, you want to make sure you have a lot of water. As I'm going, I'm going to put some more water on the. I'm going to put lots of water on here. Is that okay? Yeah. You put water on the page. It depends on how you want it to look. Again, so you can put water on the page, kind of cover the page so it's nice and wet, mm -hmm. and then you can goop into your watercolor enough with water. And okay. you drop drops on it, and it just kind of spreads. They call it blooms um, in watercolor. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go I like think this. I heard somebody. Say, I think you said that when we were doing our cards, oh, Linda. I like that. So. Okay, so you put water on it. I'm gonna put more water. Yeah, more, and water. more water. Just keep spreading it in. And spread it. Okay. And what kind and of paint can, is this? This is watercolor, but it's in a tube. It's a little different um, than. What I mean, usually you look at those, they call them pans. Yes. They're solid watercolor. Yes. You have to put a lot of water. These are already liquid, 
Uh, and um, so usually you kind of go light with the color, not too much, and then a lot of water. Yeah, and I went then, in a little bit too much, but I'll, but it's pretty. I it's like it. And you can even pretty. leave some that's white. Too, yeah, because it's very it's pretty. really nice. Okay, so it'll look kind of parchmenty when it dries. Yeah, I should have given you the plastic to put under that. Yeah, under yeah. this, we're, we're, so we're doing it. Dripping so the page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're doing it. Good. Okay, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna this other page. I'm gonna do lighter. Yeah, because. Okay, I Becca, I want to see what you're doing because I want it more exact. You know exactly where to go. Kinda. I'm. Yeah. So you line it up here, and I just made one little mark. I didn't trace the whole thing. Okay. Now I did a little too much on my other one, so I'm not doing as much on this one. Mm -hmm. I like that. So. It actually, that one actually has kind of Whoops. a, it's not butter uh -huh. color, it's, I'm trying it's to think of what the color yet. is. It's not Baby mustard. poop. <laughs> it's golden. I'm sorry, people. It's golden sunshine. We the have fall, two, there you go, fall, fall sun. sunshine. Well, that's a nice word for baby poop. <laughs> we have too many grandkids that we know what it's, the color is. I don't know. My what point. the real color is. Huh? Yeah. The real color is. I was going to tell you, you can cover these with anything. Like this one was covered with wrapping paper. Uh huh. Like fun. It. So, you know, you, you can do anything you want on Now, it. Linda, because I'm layering on top of layers, should uh -huh. I use the tacky glue on this? I would. I think the, Just the glue, glue stick will be fine. Okay. Just make sure you really glue it. Okay, so what I've discovered is that you need to do this towards the end because then you can't close it to dry it. Right. Or else but you do a hair dryer. But you can take your time right now and cut more paper. So yes. All that one's fine. Okay. Okay, so let me ask you this. So if mm -hmm. I use, you know, the what the kids use at school. The pan paints? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can do that. I can use that. Yes. Yeah. But here's what I would do if you're going to use pan paints. Okay. And I, oh, man. There's so many things I've been learning lately. Okay. One of them is that you, if you have any kind of water mister, yes. even if you mist your plants yes. or whatever. Okay. Yes. Mist your pan of paints before, oh. like 10 minutes before you decide you're gonna paint. Okay. So it can moisten up. It makes such a difference. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Oh, huh. Otherwise you're digging in the paint, you know, you're okay. trying to get it to soften and it just takes, okay. yeah, makes it a lot easier. Do you know how air dryer DJ? No. I'm gonna show them, this is what I did for my color. I mean, I left the center sort of white so that I can right in there and it's light so I can write on the other part. But on my way over here, guess what I found? In Becky's, I found <gasps> two of the favorite Aww. sweater pumpkins that I've made. Is that I have an old sweater and then we put earrings on it. Isn't that so fun? So we did sweater pumpkins um, like three weeks ago. So anyway, so there you go. How many pages have you done? I'm okay. Cutting. I can glue we are now at like 42 minutes I'm not, I'm not and to we're going to keep going. I don't think you want to watch us for the next five hours that we're going to be here. So we're doing our journals and Linda's, to recap, Linda did it for travel or she did it for a time of the year for summer. But if you want to do it, you could do it for gratitude since Thanksgiving's coming up. Okay? All right. So, look how pretty that is. Linda is so good. Beautiful. Okay. So, this is Becky, Debbie, Linda, and me. And so, we're saying goodbye. Have fun. And we'll see you next time. This is week number eight. And so, we'll see you next time. Be safe and be well. Bye.